In this video, we'll discuss about the early bird versus the night owl. There are two kinds of people in the world. One, those who are capable of rising with the birds and two, others who howl to the moon in the night. These people are distinguished with two different names because they can never be the same person. If you're a morning bird, say even a rooster, you'll always be awake in the morning to coo when the light comes from the east, but you'll be dead asleep as the west consumes that light. An owl will never coo at sunrise because they're always too busy sleeping. They don't cherish the sun because it interrupts their slumber. Unfortunately, most people nowadays are night owls and they sleep their days away when they could have been doing something else. The brutal truth is that while morning birds are living all of the benefits of waking up early, night owls don't experience anything other than the downfalls of sleeping in, and that does eventually need to change. Another issue is that once you've chosen a side, it's hard to convert to the other side. Seeing an early bird rise will annoy the owl as it tucks its feathers tightly over its beak. When the early bird watches the owl sway hypnotically in their sleep, they'll always feel frustration and angst towards the owl since they'll never be awake in the morning with everyone else. Once in a while, a balance can break between the two where the afternoon becomes the overlapping hour, but... Time after that is simply too different to acquaint with. In the end, the truth is told that humans aren't owls. We can't be nocturnal creatures because that's not how we were made to be. To live a healthy life, we need to thrive off of the sun and communicate with other people on a daily basis. So naturally, there's something that has to be done for all those grumpy night owls. Downfalls of Waking Up Late to encourage you even more to wake up early, here are some important reasons you shouldn't be sleeping in. Primarily, there is the issue of fatigue. This can drag throughout your day, making it seem longer and more tiring than it really is. Staying up late for too long can make you dizzy and relatively lightheaded. Fatigue is not something you'll notice all at once, but it steadily builds up until you've reached points where even going to relieve yourself may seem too lengthy and tiring of a task. Another issue experienced with late sleepers is their exposure to developing illnesses. Though sleeping in late has never been the cause of any sicknesses, it has been found to aid in its development and gives out a feeling of overall malaise. Plus, staying up late always brings out the inner pig inside of you. When you stay up late, you crave for heavy junk food for snacking. Even though it feels good when you stay up late like the rebellious soul you are, you're actually satisfying your gluttonous half, and that doesn't care for the healthy balance you must maintain. So before you grab for that bag of chips to binge watch an entire season of your favorite show, remember what you're going to end up with. Another aspect to this issue is that sleeping right after eating isn't good for you at all. Instead of letting your food digest, you're forcing it to sit idle in your stomach, which can create gastral issues throughout the night. Your sleep is actually your body's natural time when your immune system is strongest. As you rest idle and immobile, your body can freely fight against illnesses, viruses, and bacteria that may have infested your body. But if you don't get the right amount of sleep or it becomes inconsistent, you don't allow your body the time it needs to protect your body from getting sick. So before you stay up late for no reason, better than your own guilty pleasure, remember who will have to pay the price for the lack of sleep. Why some people wake up easier than others. As humans, we're all made differently. Some people can apparently wake up fresh as a daisy, as though stabbed with adrenaline. Otherwise, there are horrible sleepers that collapse off the bed and come crawling out of the sheets as though they fought with the pillows and lost. Whichever you are, you are what you are. And most of the time, there isn't much you can admittedly do about it. What you can try to do is change the time you come either crawling or pouncing out of your bed. Some people fail to sleep on time, get enough of it, or just resort to a more lethargic life than others, which makes them less energetic than most. Whichever it is, if it's affecting your mornings, you might want to change your ways. Sometimes on days when you work more, perhaps exercise or do heavy lifting and muscle work, your body requests more rest than usual. If this builds up faster than your metabolism can handle, you'll probably develop longer sleeping periods than others. 
Too many things affect the way you sleep. The positions you sleep in are an important factor. If you move around, you'll probably wake up more than someone who sleeps in one position. If you move, you might even topple off once in a while. How you slept as a child also creates a more variable sleep habit. If you were raised in the busy city, you'll probably enjoy the noise of the nighttime city crowd. If not, then the noise will probably rattle your brain beyond comprehension and force you to buy earmuffs. If you need a warm environment, you'll most likely suffer during the winters. Those who prefer the cold side of the bed will most likely hate when the blankets come out to ruin the chilling experience. Then, of course, there are those who are light and heavy sleepers. Light sleepers will wake up to the sound of a pin dropping and then cry in angst as they can't return to their sleep. Those who are heavy sleepers will sleep through their alarm clock and then curse the darn thing when they're late for work. It's all extremely variable, and there is no solid answer to why we all sleep differently. All you can do is try to understand yourself and your personal needs to make your sleep more comfortable and fulfilling so you can wake up as nicely as possible in the morning. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.